Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're starting the new year and the new month with some awesome apps that I believe you must have on your iPhone in January 2025. These are apps that you can get from the App Store. They're free. A lot of them will have, of course, in-app purchases, but you can use most features for free. And we're starting things off with a really interesting app. It is called Walk Clock. It is a really interesting concept, actually. What this app allows you to do is lock your apps and then to unlock them, you will need to meet a certain criteria of walking that you set through this app. So basically, you're locking your apps and you need to walk the amount of steps that you set here in order for you to be able to use your apps. So it's really interesting. So if you just want to stay healthier and you want to motivate yourself, you can maybe lock apps, your social apps that you use all the time. So you don't have access to them until you have reached the goal for your steps. So this is the app right here. As you can see there, we have the steps. So the steps of this out, we have 700 right there. And then if we go to settings right here, you can see we can set the goal. So we have hourly goal or daily goal. You can choose whichever one you want. And then you can go ahead and tap right here, edit reward apps. So once you go here, you will go to the list of the apps that you have on your device. So let's go to social right here. We can go to social and I can just go ahead and select any app I want here. And those apps will be locked. They will only unlock when I reach the amount of steps right here. And they of course won't even show on the home screen. Once they are locked, they are gone and you will need to make the amount of steps that you have set here in order for the apps to be unlocked and you'll be able to use them. The next app for the video is a widget app called Coco Widgets. It's pretty awesome, even though most of the widgets will actually be locked and they will require in-app purchases, but you will have a few of them that are unlocked that you can try out on your device. So it has actually some really interesting widgets. So as you can see, this is the home here. We have a few different like widgets here that you can basically go ahead and swipe between them to actually explore them. Or if you like one of them, you can tap on it. You can edit them here. You can change, change, of course, the colors, the fonts, and all that. You will see, you will have these panels right here. Really interesting. We will have all kinds of different information regarding your device and the weather and all that. So you will have basically a few different categories of widgets right here that are pretty awesome. Like this one right here that shows you your storage. And you will have your brightness, your connections right there pretty cool now what you can do here is of course go to the section where you will be able to actually browse the widgets based on different categories you will have the time you will have the today we have all these widgets with information then we will have the weather widgets here you have the health one system and all that stuff right there then if you go here we'll also have icon packs you will have different custom icons that you can get for your device and then they will have the settings now here we have a few different widgets from this app, these are free. You can get them for free from this app. This one right there that looks kind of like an Apple Watch will have the clock there, the day, the battery steps and all that cool stuff. And then this one here with all kinds of information. And then this one with the clock and the date right there. Right there. So pretty cool and very nice looking widgets for your home screen. Next up is an app called Walls. Now this is a wallpaper app, but it's actually a bit different from the usual wallpaper apps you can get from the app store. So once you open the app, you will see a few different creators right here, which you can go ahead and actually unlock different creators by purchasing, of course, their packs. And then right here will have featured packs. So you will have different packs of wallpapers from different artists. So if we go right here, you can see we have a pack here and we can go ahead and unlock this for 199. And then here we have free wallpapers. So we'll have some absolutely beautiful wallpapers that you can get for free, of course, from different artists that you will see on this app. Now you tap right there on the three dots and you will be able to share it or save it to your camera roll. Now if we go back here, you will see more wallpapers and you will have the creators right here. And then you can go ahead and unlock all the creators using that button right there. Watch Faces is the next app for the video. Now, if you have an Apple Watch, you need to have this app. It offers a 
ton of different watch faces for your Apple Watch. You can see we have different categories right here. At the top right there, we can switch actually to different categories or we can browse them here. So you can see we have free ones right there. We have the live ones right here. So pretty cool. You can see how cool that is. Of course, you can switch between those like this if you want to browse all of them and you can save them you can add them to your apple watch right here so you can see we have a ton of like different uh, live watch faces which actually look pretty cool they look cool here they look even better of course once you have added them to your apple watch then you will have the pro section here where you will actually have all kinds of different watch faces for your apple watch but these are a part of the pro package so you will have to pay for that in order to be able to get all these watch faces on your device so you can see right here we have the analog one like the classic ones you can see how cool these look they're actually pretty awesome they look really really nice on the apple watch and then you will have your favorites right here any watch faces you want to save you can favorite them and you can easily then find them right there under the favorite section the next one for the video is called a poll now this is a keyboard app and it's actually really interesting it has a really useful function so anytime you're typing something and you need to add a current date or a a date any date you want and the time of course you will be able to do that easily with this keyboard so once you have installed this app on your device first of all head on to your settings go under general here and then go right here to keyboards make sure you go to keyboards again and just add that keyboard to your device once you have done that you can see here if i'm writing a message i need to type the current date or any other date I want. I just switch to that keyboard. I can see the calendar right here. I can go ahead and from here move to any date I want. And you can see the time here. I can just go ahead and pick right there a certain time and it will automatically add it to that message. Next up is BMBX. This is a radio app that I really love. It is very simple. As you can see, this is the UI of the app. It's actually very, very simple. It allows to listen to radios online. It's very cool. So once you open it, you will see this page right here, radio here that is preloaded. If you go right here under the hard action you can actually go ahead and favorite that so you find that a radio easier and then if you go here you will have your stations you will have your favorites here as i said now these stations are preloaded of course you can edit these if you want to delete them or edit them right here and you can add your own stations as well you will be able to do that by tapping the plus button we can go ahead and search for a radio station or if you have a URL, you can just go ahead and add the URL here. You can even add the artwork for the icon of that radio station and you will have it right here under your stations. And you can just go ahead and listen to radio online directly from here. Next up is Yay Day. Now this is a reminder app that allows to add reminders quickly for different events. It's actually pretty cool. The UI is very nice. I like the UI of this app. So right here at the top, you will have a plus button. We can add different events, of course, quickly add birthdays. Maybe for one of your contacts, it actually requires access to your contact. So it will be able to then just add the events automatically. But you will have also here the upcoming events. So you can just go ahead and add or share any one of them directly from here. So if we go back and then go to events right here, you can see all the events that will happen on the next day. So these are, of course, all the different international days and then you will have your personal ones that you have added from here and then you will go to world right here again you will see all the different events now what's really cool is that of course you can add also the widget on the home screen and it will show you the most recent event that will happen that's on your calendar next snap is the next app for the video it allows to edit your screenshots whenever you want to share a screenshot let's say maybe a tweet or something like that you can just add it to this app and it will make it look really beautiful so tap here and load the image you want to share so here i have a screenshot and if i want to share that i can just add it to this app and actually make it look really good so i don't actually have to just share like an ugly screenshot that i just like that just took on my device so we have here the background we can change the different backgrounds or we can even upload backgrounds that we might want to add 
to this screenshot and make it look really, really unique. But you will have a few really cool ones right here that allow you to actually add to the background of your screenshots. And if you go here, we'll have different colors. You will also have different effects that you can add to your screenshots. If you want to add any text, any shape, or maybe delete something, you can do that from there. And then you will also have basically here the ability to edit your screenshot, change the corner radius, the border. So you can see right there, we can actually make it look totally different. So let's just do that here. And you can see how much it changes from like a stock screenshot of iOS. You can see now it looks totally different. And last but not least is Flashlight Pro. This is a simple flashlight app, but what's really interesting is that it has a few options. First of all, you can be oriented right here because you will have a compass at the top right there, which of course works. You can turn on the flashlight right here and you can see it does blink. You can set the speed here or you can maybe turn it off and just leave it blinking like that. And you will also have a gesture here for the brightness of the flashlight and of course turn it on or off whenever you want right here. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are the apps that I had to share with you. If you liked any of these and you want to download them, you will find all the links in the pinned comment. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.